Hello guys, my name is Lakshin Dev. I am studying in Government Medical College, Trivandrapuram, doing my final year MBBS now. So, in this video, I would like to share my experiences, the stress I needed to go through, the motivation that I acquired, and the skills and ability that I developed to crack the entrance exam and get myself into a well-reputed government institution in 2016. So my journey starts at 2013 when I finished my CBSE board exams and I didn't have enough cutoff rank to get myself with that mark into a government medical college in Chennai. So the next best thing I did was wait for two months and write the 2013 MBBS uh, NEET exams and try to get into a reputed college in Chennai. But as you know, in 2013, our CM in Tamil Nadu cancelled NEET exams due to which with my good rank in NEET exam that time, I couldn't get into a, any college then. So the next best thing I did was wait for one year and write, try to write the subsequent NEET, that is 2014 NEET exam. But there was an issue from 2013 till 2016 that NEET was not applicable uh, in Tamil Nadu. Only way to get into a college was through a 12th mark. So I uh, really wanted to study in a Chennai uh, medical college somewhere in Chennai. So, uh, the next time I wrote me, that was in 2014, it got cancelled. I Then I waited. During this time, I was even trying for private medical colleges by selling our house and keeping a mortgage loan and trying to pay for this private college with that money. So in 2015, I again wrote need, it got cancelled. So 2016, I wrote, then it also got cancelled. But in 2016, uh, with my grandmother's persuasion, I tried to apply for key exam in Kerala and I cracked it. So. During the span of 2013 to 2016, I had to go through many self-evolution, you can say, to get myself motivated, keep on being motivated and uh, I didn't waste three years just simply sitting in house and try to develop many other skills, be it in learning or be it in extracurricular activities. So, uh, as each year passed from 2013 to 2016, uh, People and the persons who are concerned to me, be it the neighbors or be it my friend or be it their friends, my friend's parents. Each time I meet them, as year passes, they used to keep on saying, did you get your medical seat? Did you go try for any other thing? How is your uh, uh, preparation going? Will you get it? Don't waste your time. Uh, there's more future ahead, don't waste time just studying MBBS, try to get the engineering, so this keeps on going around, till it keeps on growing till 2016. And the only good time I had was, from my home, I take a five minute walk to the nearest park. So the way I go from there to the park, I'm from the park to my home, there are many people who know me, because of course I used to live there from my childhood, all the people with their concern, they keep on asking the same question daily, 24 hours, whenever I am in outside till 2016. Will you get entrance exam? Will you crack in it? Why are you wasting it? Well, this was very stressful for me because I couldn't answer them because everything was uncertain during that time. But what I did was I didn't listen to any one of them. I just had a focus to take my MBBS degree in a well reputed college and try whatever I could to take it with however time I need to spend on my weaknesses and during this time I understood my weaknesses uh, the main weakness was during the exam time I couldn't time manage and I didn't know the type of questions they keep on asking I used to just uh, skip these things so during this time period I developed on my critical thinking and the knowledge I need to acquire by doing certain things. So, uh, the three best steps I took was, three best steps I thought of was, 
first is to get very good theoretical knowledge the second step was somehow find the pattern of questions the third step was to uh, somehow write all the entrance exams as much as possible like be it in the private institutions or be it the government need exams try to write as much of exams possible but you should know doing this was all alone myself because i didn't have any of my friends during that time who were studying for mbbs with me in chennai they all went to some of the states like uh, our countries like china and russia like that the first time so i was all alone with my with me surrounded by students in engineering and subjects like that so they yeah of course they were good friends but they won't understand the stress i am going to i had no one to share also not even parents only my mother was there to help me and guide me these things so uh, i always had to have this constant motivation that i will achieve what i want i will get what i want but in, instead of just thinking i need to do things so the best thing i invested was not on books not on good uh, training centers or not on good uh, classes i invested myself i invested on myself so that i can improve my skills i can improve my critical thinking i can improve how to tackle these questions in a fast and cool manner so uh, in 2000 16 was my sudden boost in knowledge when i prepared as i told you the three steps so three steps were the first one as i told you was like having good theoretical knowledge so for getting this theoretical knowledge i used to see many online videos first for example from khan's academy and there are many good uh, teachers who teach 12th or 11th syllabus uh in youtube and many other sites that you wish i used to see every day their videos so because if you take a small concept uh, when you study the same thing in the ncert textbooks it will take a lot of time to understand what is that just because the dimension of understanding is just slow so when you try to see a audio you will understand it better when you see a video you will understand much more better because there is much more stimulus in your brain so i used to see the video so i can cut short the reading part then i used to read the ncert textbooks after understanding the theoretical part by seeing the videos i will tackle the uh, ncert textbooks after that after getting a good theoretical knowledge the second thing i did was to understand the pattern of questions for that i used to tackle many question banks as possible understand the pattern of questions that keep on repeating the years so that i need not waste my time during the entrance exam um, main exam event so that is the second thing i did. for that i used to take many uh, borrow or uh, use many question banks from my friends or from institutions like that online you can take anywhere you want just understand you should tackle how much ever mcqs as possible the third thing was i wrote and i attended many uh, this exams as much as possible uh, from institution based i just go and write exam not bothering about uh, the result but just try to f- tackle the questions are right as much as possible in a correct manner and time management that's the main thing tackle as much as exams as possible so that you will have a time management needed so that was the third thing i did um, i don't uh, i was not in the top of my class then um, the entrance coaching centers all like that so the only focus was to improve on my worst part for that whatever i say the three parts the main thing you should know is you should understand your weaknesses and you should accept your weaknesses and do not forget your motivation however whoever be it your parents also if they say that you can't achieve don't believe them if you are focused in what you want to do you should be focused in that however you want just be focused you can see many motivational videos if you want you can see motivational songs just have a focus try to write it down on the wall that this is your plan a b c get into this college that's all if you are motivated and not bothered about anything else 
just focus improve on self stay motivated this is the main thing i would like to share to you guys so always remember the one thing you need to invest is on yourself because that is the most important part you need to gain self confidence and self strength to overcome anything so always try to find good friends or friends who stayed with you in your best so that they will appreciate in your best so try to make good company of yourself and try to understand yourself so that you can understand the world and you can of course get good results when you do these things so all the best and thank you and uh, yeah need to say finally i got came second rank in 2016 in kerala that's how i got the government medical college ranga so understand anything is possible if you keep your mind to it and your heart to it and all the best do it